I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on practicing for exams. We have taken 10 very important questions based on oblique triangles. Here is one of the most interesting question which has been seen in many test papers earlier in very different forms. So we'll look into three different criteria of the same question to understand how we should prepare for it. The question here is, the figure shows semicircles with center P and M. M is the midpoint of AP. Points A, M, P and B are collinear. A small circle of radius R is drawn with the center O tangential to the semicircles as shown in the figure. If the radius of the bigger semicircle is r, then prove that the ratio r over r is equal to 3 minus cos theta over 1 minus cos theta, where theta is this particular angle between m, p, and o. Part b is find the angle o, m, p for r equals to 3r. And C is what do you conclude from this example? Basically, you have to take your learnings so that you could apply these concepts when time comes. So now let's try to understand this figure and then we'll answer these questions one by one. So to begin with, let's understand what is the radius given to us and how do we approach this particular question? Now we are given that this radius is r, that means the distance from P to B is r, right? So that is r for us. M is the midpoint, so this distance here is half of r. That really means that this radius is r over 2. And the radius of the smaller circle is r, and therefore the combined radius will be what? Well, in that case, the combined radius will be, you have to add them up, right? So we can say that M to O, this particular distance, let me draw this triangle of interest, the point here M and the center O, we're talking about this. This distance is R by 2 plus r. Perfect. Now let's take the, the other points. We will be actually solving this particular triangle here. So let me recreate this triangle. Now here, m to p is r by 2 and the distance o to p is what? Well, o to p is r minus r. This is r for us and the total is r. So r minus r is o to p. Is that clear to you? So the three sides of the triangle have been defined and the angle in between of our interest is angle theta. So if the three sides are given to us, in that case, how can you solve the question? So we'll use the cosine law, right? We'll use the cosine law where you know a square is b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a. Now that should help us to relate all these radiuses. And once we do that, we should be in a position to get this ratio. Is that clear to you? So that is going to be our approach, right? So now let's prove this identity. And I would like you to pause the video at this stage. Now you know the concept and prove the identity. So we are now talking about the triangle, which is MOP. In this triangle, we know that MO is equal to the sum of the radius r by 2 and r. MP 
is half of the radius and OP is difference of R with R. Correct? So this is also R. Total length is capital R. So that distance is OP. Now we'll apply the cosine law and then try to prove the identity. So in this particular triangle, the sides can be related with theta. So OM square should be equal to MP square plus OP square minus 2 times MP times OP times cosine of the angle theta. So that gives us OM square is basically R by 2 plus R whole square. That should be equal to MP square, which is R by 2 whole square plus OP square, which is difference of the two radii, minus 2 times R by 2 plus R times R by OP, O2P is R minus R, times cos of angle theta. Right? So, we get our relation. Now, we can expand this. So, we get R square by 4 plus 2AB, which gives you R times R plus R square equals to R square by 4 plus R square minus 2AB, 2R, R plus R square. Now, uh, if you open this up, what do you get? We get uh, 2 times MP, MP, sorry, this is MP is R by 2. Yeah, not this. Yeah. 2 times MP is R by 2, right? MP is half R. So 2 times MP times R minus R. So in that case, 2 and 2 cancel. And when you expand, you get minus r square cos theta and minus and minus becomes positive r r cos theta. Correct? So we just expand it. Now let us simplify it. Now you can see that some terms can be cancelled. r square by 4 can be cancelled. r square and r square can be cancelled. And we have got a few terms. We are interested in proving the ratio of capital and small r. So let's bring capital R terms together and the small r terms together. And we need the cosine theta also. So let's see how we can work it out. So we have r r. Let me uh, rewrite this. So we have r r. And when I bring minus 2r, it becomes plus 2r. Uh, plus 2RR R becomes 3RR R. and small and capital R we can bring in this term which is R R cos theta equals 2 we are left with R square minus R square cosine theta correct now on the left side, we can take R, R common, right? So, and on this side, we can take R common. So, we have R, R common. 2 plus 1 is 3 minus cos theta equals 2. R square is common, 1 minus cos theta. Do you see that? So, we get our relation and that gives you the result R and R cancel and you can now write down the ratio which is capital R over R equals to 3 minus cos theta over 1 minus cos theta. Correct? So we brought this small r under this and cross multiplied. So that is how you could actually prove the relation. Is that clear to you? So we had very little space to work with and therefore kind of I made it, you know, adjusted the things accordingly. 
but I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So basically, it is very important to identify the triangle to work in, cosine law to apply, and find the length of each arm of a particular triangle, which was triangle MOP, and then solve it. Now let's work with this relation and write down the answer for the next question. Well, the next question is, find the angle OMP for R equals to 3R. Okay, so let me just copy what we just found, the ratio of R over R as equal to. We proved it. It is 3 minus cos theta over 1 minus cos theta, correct? Capital R is bigger. It makes sense. Now, what we are given here is if R is equal to 3 times R, then what happens? I'll substitute, so I get 3R over R equals to 3 minus cos theta over 1 minus cos theta. And clearly, this is 3 equals to 3 minus cos theta over 1 minus cos theta. Now, this equation can be true provided we have cos theta equals to 0. Then this equation is definitely true. And cos theta is equal to 0 for what? Cos theta is equal to 0 for theta equals to 90 degrees. So that means a special case. And that is when this angle theta is right angle, in that case, you have the condition which is capital R is 3R. So we can say R equals to 3 times radius of the smaller circle if theta equals to 90 degrees. Now in many test questions, you will find this particular drawing where theta is actually 90 degrees. So it is much simpler to solve in that case, but this is your general solution. Now, once you know how to provide the general solution, then any equation based on two semicircles with tangential circle can be solved, right? So, so what do you infer from this example? Most important thing is how to solve circle tangent to two semicircles. Is that clear to you? So that is the huge importance of this particular question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.